Hello, welcome back to School of Calisthenics. I'm Georgie and I'm going to take you through some progressions to work towards your pancake. We've covered good mornings and looked at the hip hinge and we need to really master that hip hinge before we start going into full pancakes. But there are lots of progressions we can use to work towards our pancake. And the first one that we're going to do is a standing variation. So very similar to the good morning, but we're just with a wide stance. So all we're gonna do from here is take the feet wide. We're hinging at the hips, pushing the bum back slightly, allowing the upper body to help, or gravity is helping to pull me down. So from here, I've hinged, bum pushes back a bit, hinging over, going to where I can, feeling those hamstrings fire up, engaging the glutes and standing again. So this is a dynamic way that we can go through these wide leg good mornings working to where you can. Over time, you can obviously add some external load as well, which will also help to take you a little bit deeper into that range, help improve that flexibility, but also build strength. So again, hinging over, and I might find that end range position, and then think about using some of those tools that we've done with our breath. So we inhale through the nose, feel the lateral expansion of the ribs. As you exhale out the mouth, we're gonna go further. And then again, take a breath in. And exhale. Helping to pull you down deeper into that position, squeeze the glutes to stand back up. Don't worry if you're not all the way down there right now. Um, over time, start with that body weight movement, then maybe add some load, but don't rush the process. The next variation we go into is using a platform as an elevation. And you may need that higher than where we are here. So using a box or a chair, on the edge of the sofa, anywhere that can just help you gradually progress down towards the floor. So legs are wide, but we can also look at different positions. So if we can't take the legs all the way out here, try it a little bit narrower. You can have a soft bend in the knees as well. I'm thinking about allowing my pelvis to tilt forwards, which is gonna help me with that hip hinge. Really avoid tucking the bum under, but it's just gonna make me round through the back. So sitting up, slight tilt forwards with the pelvis, I'm gonna get ready for that hinge. I can just move in and out, just a couple of gentle sort of good mornings first. Just notice how that feels. Squeeze the quadricep muscles as I'm coming up. Squeeze them to come up, squeeze the glutes. And then this next one, we're gonna go into it as far as we can. Find that end range position, use our breath again. So inhale through the nose for that lateral expansion of the ribs. Out of the mouth. Finding a bit more space. Take another breath in and out of the mouth. Gradually working our way down. And obviously I've got my hands on the floor there. You can make that a little bit harder by having them on the hips. You're really working that strength through the range, but you can bring them down for a bit of support too. Another way that you can anchor yourself into this position would be to hold onto something in front, anything like an upright or a resistance band to help fix you into that shape and hold it for longer periods of time and work through that stretch. Otherwise, the dynamic version where we're building a bit more strength and moving in and out, where we can also add some weighted load. These are our good mornings. So over time, I can lower that platform, maybe until I'm just onto one plate or say it's a yoga block or something like that, just to elevate the hips. Still making sure the mechanics are really strong with that um, hip hinge. And then from there, once I'm ready, I'm going onto the floor, hinging at the hips again, this is where we want to be really careful as if I've progressed too soon, we're gonna find that we're stuck in this posterior pelvic tilt, rounding and just aimlessly reaching forwards and not feeling like we get anywhere. So making sure that we can really sit up in the hips from here, hinging over, maybe moving in and out, using the breath. So find that end range position, take a breath in through the nose, Exhale, reaching forwards. And also thinking of that positioning in my spine, I want to think about drawing my belly button towards the floor. If I think about getting my head to the floor, it's gonna look like this. I'm just rounding through the back, not really hinging effectively. And I'm gonna feel that less in the hamstrings and more in the lumbar spine. So again, one more time, go back into that pancake position, sit up nice and tall, maybe still using that platform. Think about the belly button pulling forwards, 
eyes are lifted rather than down here. Find that end range position. Take a breath in. And out of the mouth. Engaging the quadriceps and sitting up nice and tall from there. So there's a few variations there that we can use to progress towards our full pancake position. As I've already mentioned, start with the easier progressions and really gradually work your way down to the floor. There's no race or rush to get there. Using external load can also really help to take us deeper into that range whilst also strengthening it. But as always, just listen to your body, work with the progression that's right for you and over time, gradually add some progressive overload to work towards that pancake. If you need some help with your mobility, then you'll love our new mobility program. So check out all the details in the description below. Class dismissed. Thank <laughs> you.